our users requested an integration between SAMcart and Digital Access Pass, and so here we are. We are very happy to announce that DAP 4.7.1 will have full-fledged integration with SAMcart. SAMcart is a shopping cart that allows you to sell digital products online with some great tracking and reporting features. When you sell using SAMcart, then upon each successful purchase, DAP will automatically create a membership account for your users. Let's take a look at the integration steps. Integration between SAMcart and DAP is really simple, just three easy steps. Step 1. If you want to integrate a product between SAMcart and DAP, make sure the product name exactly matches. So if this is the name of the product in DAP, then in SAMcart under products, the name of the product has to exactly match the product name in DAP. That's step one. Step two, notify page URL. Make sure that you set it to point to this script. Replace your site.com with the name of your site, slash dap, slash dap dash samcart.php. This will allow SAMcart to send a notification to this script whenever someone makes a purchase of this product in SAMcart. Step three of integration is to make sure that the API key in your SAMcart account exactly matches the secret key that you set in DAP. This is for security validation to make sure that the request is actually originating from SAMcart and only those requests are processed by DAP. So log into your SAMcart account, go to settings, membership portal integration, select digital access pass and enter any API key. Just make sure that whatever value you enter here, you must enter the exact same value in your DAP admin dashboard setup config page under secret authorization key. The values must match. So to summarize, just three easy steps to integrate SAMcart and DAP. Step one, product name in DAP should exactly match the product name in SAMcart. Step two, the notify page URL in your SAMcart products page should be set to point to the DAP script. And step three, the API key in your SAMcart account should exactly match the secret key that you set in DAP. We have also automated cancellations and refunds between SAMcart and DAP. When you log into your SAMcart account, go to orders, select the order that you want to cancel or refund and click on the cancel or refund button. DAP will automatically cancel or refund that order. You don't have to do anything manually within DAP. When DAP receives a refund request from SAMcart, it will automatically remove the user's access to the product from DAP users manage page and it will also reverse the earnings. But when DAP receives a cancellation request from SAMcart for a product, then it will take the action that you have defined for that product in the cancellation and expiration tab of that product in DAP. If you have set it to remove from product, then when DAP receives a cancellation request, it will automatically remove the user's access to the product. But if you have set it to say no action, then DAP will not take any action and user will continue to have access to the product. One important thing to note, there is one small limitation in this integration between SAMcart and DAP and that is because SAMcart currently does not send out third-party notification upon each subscription payment. They only send out the notification after the very first payment but there is no notification after each subsequent payment for subscription products. To overcome this limitation, all you have to do is in DAP define all your products, even if it's a subscription product, define it as a one-time product in DAP. So in the DAP pricing tab in DAP products page, will there be subscription payments set it to no. So even if it's a subscription product, set it to no. Your users will still get charged correctly because SAMcart is the one that will be actually charging the user the right subscription amount each month or each week, whatever is your subscription cycle. In DAP, the users will receive full access to the product right after they purchase because it's defined as a one-time product. But even though they receive full access to the product, you can still control the content access using content dripping. If you don't want them to have full access to all the content right away, you can use content drip settings to ensure that they only receive access to the content based on the drip cycle. And also because the cancellations and refunds are automated between SAMcart and DAP, even if the user receives full access to a subscription product right after their purchase, if they decide to cancel or refund, then automatically they will lose access to the product right away because uh, it is automated between DAP and SAMcart. That's it. Just a few easy steps to integrate DAP and SAMcart. This is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.